Good morning. Oh yeah, I'm here at Anna River. That's where we camped actually, somewhere over there. Uh, today, we are hiking 29 miles. Why? Because Lassen National Park is not allowing you to stay in it if you don't have a bear canister. And guess what? We got rid of a bear canister. So we have to hike at least 26 and a half miles. But if we do 26 and a half, uh, it's a dry campsite. So if we do 29, there'll be water. Now we could go to the dry campsite, but that means we would have to water carry for 10 miles. So instead of doing heavy water carries for 10 miles, we'll just hike three extra miles and camp right on water. I'm already ahead. I was waking up at six, which, did I wake up at six? I woke up at six and nobody's moving. I'm like, okay. So I'm slowly getting ready and everybody is like still in their tents. And then suddenly bird call comes out and he's like, what's up? And I was like, y'all know we have to hike 26 miles today. And they're like, I know. So it's pretty cute. Everybody is kind of just uh, slowly getting ready. Good thing is the first part of the trail is gonna be maybe the difficult part, if at all. And then the last part of the trail is super flat. I mean, like a lot of times I say flat and there's still like bumps, but the last part, this the today is like extremely flat. So uh, it should be a, a, a decent hike to get to our 29 miles, which is gonna be kind of cool because uh, today is Thursday and we thought we weren't gonna get to Bernie until Sunday, but mileage wise now, we're gonna get to Bernie on my birthday, Saturday, July 6th. So I'm excited about that because that means we could go to like a restaurant on my birthday. How nice is that? Anyway, let's get this day started. I hope I'll get you some more views today. Uh, I am hiking by myself, so yeah. I mean, I, I know I, I feel like I talk a lot when I'm hiking by myself. So let's see what's on my mind today for you. By the way, today is July 4th. Happy Independence Day. It's one of those days that when I grew up in Germany and then I came to the United States, the day didn't really resonate with me, right? Because, you know, I was born in Germany. But it's become uh, step by step more of an important day to me, being that I became a United States citizen in 2008. Yes, I did the test. I was asked the questions. I did the hundred, I think it was a hundred questions. No, it wasn't a hundred questions. I had to study the hundred, a hundred questions about the United States government and, and all that stuff. And then when I had my interview, I think the person asked me like three or four questions and I, I was United States citizen. How cool is that? So I'm pretty, pretty happy to live in the United States. You know, so, you know, it, the world is uh, in turmoil all the time. And uh, this year is an election year. And uh, that means that the United States is going to be in even greater of, of a term, turmoil. Just because that's how election year works. So but I am happy to be part of the United States. I can't imagine really living anywhere else at this very point. I mean, I'd like to find out maybe some spaces in the United States I would wanna live, like check out some other states. I do have a pretty amazing plan or like there is a dream that's forming in my mind right now about what's next after this trail. And I can't of course reveal it just yet, but it has to do with the United States, of course, because I haven't seen everything this beautiful country has to offer. You know, a lot of times people are like, why wouldn't you want to hike in Europe? I mean, I do, but I feel like there's so much left to see in the United States. Like, 
there's such beauty to this country and uh, I'm excited to to see what's coming up, what's next. And I hope you're sticking by my side to know what this year plan that is being concocted uh, is, is gonna happen next year, probably next year. All right, we're almost getting to Lassen National Park. I'm always like, what are these things called? Um, I'm actually, I told my family, I'm really bad at this. I am not good at all these names and giving you all this like amazing information, but I do have some subscribers that do give some great information in the comments. So check those out. Um, yeah, almost there. Now it is July 4th, I know. Everybody probably is just celebrating at home. But this tra this through hiker's heart right here is so hoping for some trail magic. There is a uh, trailhead in like four-ish miles. And I'm just like, man, trail magic would be just like a dream come true. July 4th, maybe it'll be more on the weekend. Maybe everybody's celebrating right now and then I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday and then my birthday's on a Saturday, so maybe then. Maybe we'll find some trail magic. I'm putting my heart out there. I'm putting my, my energy toward trail magic. I was expecting a better sign than just boundary. Uh, hold on. No, I think there's a sign ahead. I talked too fast before, or I, was, I spoke too quickly. All right, so here's a sign. Entering Lassen Volcanic National Park. We can't camp here unless we have a bear canister, which we don't. Uh, and then Warner Valley, which is what I'm hoping where the trail magic would be, but I don't think there will be. We've got twin legs and badger flat. So yeah, and then somebody wrote, how about a control bone for a new route, route, rule? Y'all tell me what this means. Rule, route, route, I don't know. I've been standing here for like five minutes thinking about if I should see this here, geyser, geyser. How do you pronounce this? G-E-Y-S-E-R, is it a geyser or a geyser? I'm contemplating. It's 0.3. It's quite the distance. Okay, I'm leaving my pack just because I ho hope nobody's going to steal it. I mean, nobody would want it. Would somebody want that? I don't think so. I already see it puffing and huffing. Puff, huff. Huffing and puffing. Caution. The ground near Hydra is thin, brittle, and slippery to avoid breaking through and being severely burned. Uh, stay on an established trail at all times. There's literally no established trail. Well, there's the geyser. I'm all by myself, so I'm a little bit scared. Okay, I'm not really scared. I'm just, you know, the whole like brittle ground thing. that's probably as far as I'm gonna go. We've got some spray in water, some smoke, and a smell. Pretty cool though. Added 0.6 to my days and pack still here.
There's a crossing. Y'all, I'm like 15, 17 minutes into 1984. Why y'all want me to listen to that? Kids being shot? That's all I, that's where I am right now. Kids being bolt, shot and like dying and grenades. <laughs> like I'm here in the woods in the peace and I'm listening to kids being shot. All right, well, I'll give it a little bit more time, but I don't know. Just uh, sitting here at this wonderful picnic table. There's some random bottle, not mine. No uh, trail magic at this trailhead. There's a lot of cars, but no trail magic. That's fine. I took my shoes off. When I have new shoes, I usually have a little bit of pain where my pinky toes are. I probably need to get another size larger for the shoes. Right now, it's uh, my shoes are a, a, a one and a half sizes larger probably need two sizes larger for these shoes just because these shoes have not a white toe box and I don't really have white feet but it's nice to have a little bit more room in the toe box so maybe next time I'll get like a two size bigger than my shoe size okay on the agenda what it's just past 12 I hiked 9.6 miles I've got another 20 to go I'm gonna do lunch maybe at like two or something like that. I have some cheese it's I'm gonna eat. And uh, I do have like a mile of an uphill. Like, ooh, it's probably like a mile, like 1.2 or something. Then a little down and then another oomph. And then after that, it should be uh, cruising, putting things on cruise control probably. Walking back to trail. Look at all those cars. Continue walking. I don't know if you can see the trail. Right there. I came from there. I went over that bridge right there. Woo! Okay, should I give 1984 another chance? I don't know. I'm not in it for children shooting. I'm sure it's going to get worse than what that beginning was. It's not like I can't handle violence, but like, again, I'm in this peaceful here environment. But OK, I'll give it another chance. I have my Cheez-Its and my headphones. I am very appreciative of this. Thank you. All right, so I'm on top of the last kind of climb. It should be flat cruising through. I, you can see it's pretty flat. I mean, a lot of burn down stuff. And I can tell you guys, I mean, the burn area, it is pretty in its own way for sure. But I am kind of looking forward to getting out of here. Uh, apparently it's gonna be all the way until Old Station, which is gonna be tomorrow. I wonder if then it just is gonna change or if that was just somebody telling us a fable that the burn area is gonna be over after Old Station, but we'll see. Um, pretty exposed, not much shade, not really anywhere for me to take lunch. Um, and also, I don't think there'll be much water. There's a lake coming up. I think that'll be the last water source before um, the last water source within Lassen National Park. Um, there might be a creek. Somebody talked about like a month ago, but you know, some of these creeks, they dry out and it is July and it is hot. It's 3 p.m. I've hiked 17 miles. I know that's not the fastest, but I've just been taking my time and there's a lake and I'm gonna eat something now. Cause I'll probably be hiking until like 7, 7.30. So I do need to eat something and there's shade. 
And it's actually a really nice campsite. Only I can't camp here. I don't have a bear box. So I just took a shower yesterday and I washed this shirt. Look at that. Yesterday. I mean, the dirt is real. Look at that. Look. Look at this. It's so dirty and dusty around here. I mean, I know, I know it's nature, but it's not this dusty in other places. Just saying. Okay, so cleaned myself up. I went to walked into the leg, cleaned my legs, which will get dusty within any moment now anyway. But there's a story I didn't tell you guys. And I'm like, maybe I shouldn't, but I mean, it's reality of the trail. So um, a lot of people say that you're not a real through hiker unless you've pooped in your pants before. And um, I'm not going in that direction with this conversation, so don't worry about that. But there's also, um, you know, the whole idea is like that you will get caught if you ever go to the bathroom, whether it's number one or number two. And I did get caught going to the bathroom number one. <laughs> and it was so funny. It was like a week or two ago. Bougie was back. Anyway, I'm, I have to pee. And on trail, there's this weird thing with women in particular. I've asked other hi female hikers if they have the same thing. It's like your body doesn't need to go pee. But as soon as you like unstrap your buck like your buckle your body's like oh okay we're gonna pee right now right now like and you're just like no like i need to still pull my pants down and the body's like no we got we're peeing we're peeing are you ready because we're going we are ready to go and you're just like scrambling to take your shorts down and your panties and like go to the bathroom and your body's just ready it's a thing that happens to us it's not like it doesn't happen when i'm at home like i'm walking I don't have to pee, then I go, oh, maybe I should pee, and then my body's just like, okay, we're peeing. Anyway, so that situation sometimes causes you to not ha be able to go really far off trail so that you cannot be seen. So, I mean, so I did uh, go off trail, but not far enough, and I'm squatting down, I'm ready to do it, and here comes a trail runner, just running. And I'm like, oh, and, uh, you know, the pee is going, so... It's not like you can stop it as it's happening. And I'm just like, I just keep peeing. And he keeps running. And I go, oh, I'm sorry. And he doesn't say anything. He just keeps running past me as I'm, as I'm squatting there peeing. So um, that's my, um, my embarrassing story. But it's a good story. It's, it's, a real, it's really what happened. And it is what happens to us. We do get caught peeing and sometimes pooping uh, well you shouldn't get caught going number two because you should get off trail far enough nobody can see you but sometimes there's switchbacks the story of switchbacks lots of hikers have been caught by that not knowing that it's a switchback and boom they get caught i have not got caught doing that but that's my peeing story just for you welcome back to trail Three forty-six. We have eleven point seven miles left. Yesterday we started hiking. I think at around five forty-five p.m. and hiked like nine miles. So I think that's manageable. Eleven point seven. I just don't want to get in there when it's twilight, which I think I might. It might happen today, but that's just the name of the game. All right, done with Lassen Volcanic National Park. Believe your eyes, not their lies. Practice peaceful resistance, faith. I just really don't appreciate when people ride on signs like that. Sometimes it's funny, but most of the time, I just think, why? Why we gotta ride on other people's stuff? And why we gotta make it like ugly? 
And I don't know, it's just, it's not nice. Don't do it. It's honestly a pain in the ass. Sorry for the language, but like I'm walking along. I mean, everything's burned, but let's, <laughs> but still like, it's still nature. And then I have to look at some graffiti like that. We gotta do better than that. Something pretty green, yay! How you doing? I am just a little bit away from the uh, campsite that we had said we were gonna go all together because of the water conundrum. But I did get a Garmin message from Boss Bay saying that they'll probably stop a little bit earlier. So that either means that they've been, they will be carrying water for like 10 miles, which is so exhausting. That little area, not little, that ginormous walkthrough lesson was exhausting, exposed. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, I mean, I kind of figured because they did start a little bit later and uh, Boss Bay was the one that suggested 29. I was like surprised. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll go to the 29. Um, so, but I kind of like totally respect their stopping early. They've been doing a lot of miles, uh, not really any Nero's to kind of take care of them. I mean, I guess we did a Nero in Quincy, but I feel like they're kind of just powering through to get to Shasta. And so I'm sure that has a toll on them, like a big toll. So I hope I'll get to see them, not hope, I will be waiting for them in that little old town that has only 50 people living there. I think it's called Old Station. I'm gonna get up. I think I have like five miles to Old Station and I'll be, ch I'm gonna I'm chill there and wait for them. I assume Bougie is with them because he doesn't really wanna hike that many miles anyway. So I can't imagine that he's gonna come to the 20 mile, 29 mile uh, spot. So, anywho, I guess it's uh, me, myself, and Julianne. Okay, I set up my tent. Going to uh, try to clean up myself and then eat. Mm -hmm. 